Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 12 of my book of week. And we'll be talking about something scarier and that is my DNF box. Honestly, I don't think there's nothing scarier than having your DNFs. <laughs> well, let's get Also, I have um, kind of talked about these books before and then there's some new ones that I haven't yet talked about. I will also be including them as well. But um, yeah, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be scary because these are my DNFs, but let's get on. So my first book was The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. John Henwin is the only boy in the town of men. Ever since the sellers were affected with no noise germ, Todd can hear everything the men think and they hear everything he thinks. Todd is just a month away from becoming a man, but in the midst of the cacophony, he knows that the town is hiding something from him. And I did give it two stars and I did not finish it at 102 pages. Honestly, I'm, I do have to have my notebook because that's why I write everything. But like, I really didn't like this book. I remember how he just kept kicking at the dog. I didn't like that. Like, what did the dog to, do to you? Come on, just leave the dog alone. And so I also didn't like Todd, and he just kept repeatedly that he didn't want the poor doggy. I would love to have kept him. Um, I also didn't like Evan as well, who seemed to be an abusive character. He kept hitting Todd, and I didn't like when I was reading that, but I didn't quite understand as to why he kept hitting Todd. And so that was kind of like I'm kind of misunderstanding or something. And I also didn't really understand what Todd had when he was in the swamp at the beginning of the book. Like what that noise was he kept hearing. I just didn't know that story also felt like repetitive with Todd running through halls and like dales and all things like that. To hills. So yeah, that, you know that man along the side of the river, like the edge of the river. Um, but yeah, like even though it's sounded cool, I just wish it just wasn't so boring as how it was. My next book is Forging Summer into Stars by Virgin Camilla. When Tiger the King's Cody arrives in the remote village of Briar Lock, he wants only to escape the demands of his new life in the royal court where magic reigns for the first time in ages. The last thing he expects is to fall for a handsome blacksmith with a blue's heart. After years of toil under his father's cruel hand, Jax never dared to dream of a better life. When members of a rebellion reach the small forge, he begins to wonder if he will even survive, until a magic wielding young lord offers him an enticing escape. This was also another DNF. I DNF'd it at 76%. And once again, I did remember how it was just repetitive. Like, I know he felt like um, they had two places to go. I, I think one of them was the forge and the bakery, and that's it. Like, the all other places just seemed non-existent from what I can remember. So it just... What's the point of that book, man? I just don't understand. Uh, yeah, so honestly, I thought honestly nothing was happening. I feel as though at the beginning, Tycho was an interesting character at the beginning. Which is why I wanted to read more of him, but... That never happened because of what happened throughout the book. Also, I found I also found like the pace of the book was also too slow, and there were some scenes where it was the same thing all over again, which just really people talking and going to the same two places for the entire book. Uh, obviously I didn't read the entire book because I was at 76%, but it honestly felt that way, and then just really dried me up. So yeah, it was just basically Tycho going to one place. And but we were learning it from his point of view, but just at a different location. So and I also couldn't really count about everything else. Like I felt the championship also felt forced and just fell out of the blue completely. Like also and also what happened to Gray? Like he was my favorite character in the original trilogy, and in this book he was just completely different one. So I'm like. What happened to his development? So that was really a bummer, and honestly, I didn't like how Bridget looked gray. So that sucks too. My other DNF book was Red, uh, Red Wolf by Rachel Vincent. 
For as long as 16-year-old, I don't can remember the village of Oakville has been surrounded by the dark woods, a forest filled with terrible monsters that light cannot penetrate. Like every person who grows up in Oakville, she has been told to steer clear of the woods unless absolute necessary. But unlike her neighbors in Oakville, Adel has a really good reason for going into the woods. Adel is one of, is one of a long line of guardians, women who are able to change into wolves and who are tasked with the job of protecting the village while never letting any of the villagers know of the existence. So this is another book I DNF'd. It's at 39%. Yeah, I just found this book boring. Um, I remember having the words being, like, having so much potential, but it just, the author just didn't really do anything about it, unfortunately. Um, honestly, Adele seems to be like a child and stubborn and a little difficult to connect with. The pace was also slow and I also thought nothing was happening. So, yeah, like, I was just really sad that the author didn't do much with the woods just because it just sounded so fascinating and interesting. I also feel like the story itself was a little messy. There was too many things going on and I feel like the author just kind of held on them. So, that was kind of sad. And not only the writing was also okay, but yeah, I would just feel like I had the writing was a little bit more flair and fleshed out maybe. And so yeah, and that was just really disappointing to me. My next book is My Dreams Descend by Janella Angels. The city covered in ice and ruin, a group of magicians face off in a daily game of magical feats to find the next headliner of the conquering circus only to find themselves under the threat of an unseen danger striking behind the scenes. But I also did not finish this book. I gave up at 48%. From what I can remember, Kalia, I think that was her name, um, she just seemed over the top. She had like, so many magical abilities and she didn't really do anything with that. Um, but I just stopped caring about it and yeah, it was just annoying half of half to that time, the book had too much mystery for me to even come to a conclusion as to what's happening, so that was annoying. And um, there were times where I, lo I was actually lost throughout the book, and I feel like everything was happening so much, and then it was like, what's happening here? Uh, there were times where, as I said before, Kalia, she was also annoying and arrogant. She's supposed to be like this strong, ambitious character, but it didn't really came out that way, so I'm not sure how there's going to be room for her character growth. Uh, but I knew like DeMarco, and I thought I knew more about him, and you know, he was just very quiet, and he has an actual good backstory that really did sound interesting, so I wish we got more of him than Kalia. And some of the some moments of the books was interesting and it had to do with mirrors and characters being magically entrapped within the town, so I thought that was really cool. But again, I just wanted more of it. The world building wasn't quite there, I found. Like, this was actually my second time rereading it. The first time was physical, the second time was audio. I still couldn't finish it either way. So, but yeah, I couldn't really find out what happened to the world building, so I never really know when the places were because of that. My next book is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. As a baby, 19 year old Signa has been raised by a string of guardians, each one more interested in her wealth than her well being, and each has met at a timely end. Her remaining relatives are the Lewis of Hawthorns, an ascension family living at Thorn Grove, an estate both glittering and gloomy. Its patriarch moves his late wife through wild parties while his son grapples for control of the family's waning reputation, and his daughters suffer from a mysterious illness. But when the mother's restless spirit appears, claiming she was poisoned, Singer realizes that the family she depends on could be in grave danger and enlist the help of a silly, stable boy to hunt down the killer. I also DNF this book at 50%. I also remember for this book how I didn't really like the relationship be between Signia and Death. I just thought it was creepy. And I'm surprised that 
all the other reviews, they didn't really find it disturbing. Like, imagine waiting for Sylvia to be old enough so that Death could date her. And Death is pretty an old man. So that's, yeah, I hate those relationships. And I didn't find this book boring and honestly nothing was happening. I think Sylvia was an okay character. But I just didn't like Death at all because of that reason I just said before and the personality. So I just had like a weird feeling of him and like and like how he had a weird fascination with Sylvia since she was a baby and he just fell in love with her. I'm like, that's really, really gross. So I wasn't really comfortable with it either because of that and I kinda had to stop reading just for the sake of my mind because I just couldn't handle that kind of relationship. I just can't. So, but um, the only good thing about Singer is that she was an introvert and gets excited about socializing. I wish I can get excited about socializing, but that could never be me. <laughs> so, she really gets drained when hanging out, just like me. I need to hibernate after I hang out. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, I don't think this book should be for 13 to 18. I think it should be above 18. So I think the marketing was just really poorly done. So this could could have been better, but it would just be Next book is The Jasmine Throw by Tasha Surdy. Imprisoned by her big thing to brother, Melody spends her days in isolation in Harani, an ancient temple that was once the source of the powerful, magical, deathless waters but is now a little more than a decaying ruin. Peter is a maid servant, one among several who make the treacherous journey to the top of the Hirana every night to clean Melanie's, Melanie's chambers. She is happy to be an anonymous drudge, so long as it keeps anyone from guessing the dangerous secret she has. So I also DNF this book at 52%. So, and this book was really hyped up, but I just couldn't really finish it. Um, I just couldn't really get into the story itself. I thought Priya was okay. I did like the part where, she, you know, as in the plot says, that she has to go to the Melanie's chambers and how she had to get over those treacherous journey to get to the chambers. So I actually like that. Um, I also like as to how what happened between Priya and should, Mina. I think that was one of the characters' names, and something happened with Mina, and then she found out who Kira really was. I actually liked that part, so I really liked um, it. I think the story, the, like the world building, was a little bit over the top. It might be just me, but I think I had like so much going on, and just couldn't think it out where each everything was. So I'm like. Calm down, we know we get excited about the world building, but I just need to know what everything is just for the sake of what's happening for the story. And so, yeah, um, I really did like the interaction between me and Nan Priya with that one scene, but there were things that um, could have been handled better, some of the stuff were repetitive, and I also found things that didn't really make sense, like how did the deathless water work? Because that really sounded interesting. And um, yeah, so there wasn't really much happening with this book. Um, and it just, you know, just more, I need more explanation. Uh, there were some action scenes that were quite rather finished quickly. I couldn't really find a connection between the princess and Priya. And I just didn't really uh, found the insta love. There, I hate insta love, so I am. Uh, I really want to love this book, but unfortunately, it's just not right there. But um, yeah, so these are all my DNFs, so let me know my new DNFs are, and please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.